obviously in today's world, we're told to embrace our feelings and it's okay to, to shed a tear and this, that and the third. Do you think men should be emotional? That's a great question. Um, well, really, it's figuring out firstly what emotion actually is. So like I always think of emotion as energy in motion. So it's like you're feeling, uh, you're experiencing, you know, that, that's what life really is. Life is, is an amalgamation. I don't know if that's the right word. I'm throwing words around. But it's a, it's a, you know, it's a compilation of different emotions. Those emotions then generate your thoughts and your experience of life, right? That's why we do all the things we do is to feel emotion. So what I think you're referring to is emotional in the sense of like, should, you know, should you go home and complain about work? And, you know, it ties into what we said before about having that complete responsibility. I think, I think, uh, like I said, when you understand what women are looking for, they're looking for a leader, looking for a rock. That's what defines masculinity. Then you could also work out that, okay, maybe showing excessive amounts of weakness and showing being too vulnerable and too free flowing. She's, you know, you need to ask yourself, how is that going to affect the person you're with? Are they going to feel safe? Are they going to feel like you are that competent, capable man that they, they want to be with? Because bear in mind, women, the women are always in the present moment. You know, we're, we're much more long-term based. Women live in the present. It's like just how they're designed survivally. So I think, um, I'm not complete. I, I think, you know, I think people would take things too far. I think like if you cry in front of your girlfriend or your wife, or whatever, it really just depends on the circumstances. But I think um, you shouldn't be overly emotional. I don't think, I think there's a le like, yeah, I, I, I don't, it's a difficult, for me, it's a difficult question to answer. But I think o overall, I would say it's good to have passion. It's good to love. It's good to have a desire. But I also think, you know, things like anger or things like being upset or overly, you know, I think, you know, say for example, somebody dies in the family to say that you can't grieve is, is not, you know, that's, that's unrealistic. But I think there's a certain point at which it's like, okay, now we, now we keep it moving. Now we, we re, you know, we reorganize, we continue, we keep moving forward. So it's not so much the emotion, it's the response to the emotion, how you deal with it. I think that's important. It's not so much, it's not saying be a man and feel nothing. It's more a case of, okay, here's, here's the emotion you're dealing with. How are you going to deal with it? And that's really what she wants to see. She doesn't care if you're having a hard, every, we all go through hard things in life, but it's, she doesn't care so much that you're experiencing something. It's more just a case of like how you actually respond to it, how you deal with it. And if you can do that in the right way and show strength and show perseverance and resilience, then there's nothing wrong with, with experiencing some form of emotion, I guess. So you don't think it's bad to, to cry in front of a woman? I do think it's bad, yeah. I don't think it's a good, good thing to do. Um, for keeping it 100% real, I actually, I've done it. Like I've done it and I definitely noticed there's a, it's something, it's weird. It's a weird thing like, um, you know, yeah, it, it, there's definitely some biological thing that's going on. So I wouldn't recommend it. No, I'd say if you're going to do it, do it with like your family or do it with like your, your friends. I think that's just a basic, basic rule really when it comes to relationships. As yeah. strange as it sounds. And that, and what's interesting, and I'm sure you agree, is women who be like, oh no, we want you to open up. We want you to be vulnerable and stuff. Like they say that stuff, but that's coming from their logical mind. It's not coming from their biology. Their biology is thinking something, you know, is doing and experiencing something way different. And they don't even really know how they're going to react. So yeah, I'll let you add that. No, I, I <clears throat> if I'm keeping it 100, I've cried in front of a woman as well. And I'll never do it again in my life ever again. Yeah. I'll tell you this, yeah, if you think about it, You've never ever lost a girl in your life, and I guarantee a lot of men will agree with this. They've never ever lost a woman in their life for being unemotional. You always fucking lose a girl if you're too emotional, but you'll never lose a girl if you're unemotional. No matter what she says, she might say you weren't emotionally connected to her. Bullshit, right? You lose women when you're emotional as a man, and she does not respect you being emotional towards her. She respects you to be stoic, take responsibility, be competent, be solid as a man at all times. And if you do need counsel and you are going through some shit, you fucking better go to your boys and speak about it instead that, of going that, to your that, girl. But that ties into the environment. If you've got a good environment around, you've got good people around, yeah. you, switched on people that are wise and intelligent, they're going to support you. you know? Yeah. And I, I will make this, I'll say this right now, it's controversial, but fuck it. Yeah. I don't want to go to a woman for advice anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't, very true. I don't want to go to her for advice. She hasn't got the advice that I need in my life. she can't life deal with forward. masculine problems. She cannot deal with masculine problems. Yeah. I'd rather go to my boys who know the shit that I'm going through and who have the receipts to prove that they can get me through it because they've done it in their lives as well. Yeah, and I'd say a woman's approach to solving a problem is going to be, they're not going to understand like 
the masculine desires. Like men were going to be like, oh, mate, go train, go do this, go do that. Girls are going to, you know, what the girls do when they're going through a problem, they, they need to express it, they need to vent it. They need to go dance on the dance floor or eat a bunch of food or go to the cinema. That, 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 that may solve the feminine's issue, but that, that by no means solves the masculine issue. And if you approach, if you give a problem, you know, if you give a masculine problem, the feminine solution might just make you more feminine. You know, it might just turn you into a version of yourself you don't necessarily want to be. And one thing I'll add too is, I think there was a study that showed um, women find faces. So like when, maybe like when they see a face that's sort of frowning and not smiling or showing no emotion, they said they find that face more attractive than a guy that's like smiling, which is very fascinating. That is uh, interesting. You know, I think girls as well, they, they like, um, yeah, I think that ties back to that, you know, in the sense that it's like the, uh, they're more attracted to that stoic, that ability to be a rock, to deal with things, to be competent, you know? So yeah, 